Yes, in this very room we were building an home cinema setup and this is a before and after. Let's do it, shall we? In this video we are building an home cinema setup in this very room and this will be a really cool process with all the before and after and we'll focus on the screen, on the 4K HDR projector, on the sound and on the gaming station. But before we start, if you're new to the channel and you don't know me, my name is Fabrizio but you can call me Fabri. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. Also, remove all the monetization from this YouTube video, so if you appreciate that, you know what to do. For full disclosure, I want to make clear that yes, I received this 4K projector and Vivistorm screen from Vivistorm, but I'm not paid a sponsor in any way, and as always, all the opinions in this video are my own. If you follow the channel, you know that we reviewed TV, gaming station, desk setup, but in the last couple of videos, we reviewed this projector and screen, so I'll leave the, the video links up here. So first, the screen. Unboxing the screen was pretty easy, the package was quite heavy but the installation process was super fast because we are using the Vivistorm S Pro Electric Tension Motorized Screen. Okay, so a little bit of trash. We're ready for the big reveal. We have this nice leather from Vivistone. Here we have all the paper and especially the instruction. Definitely for the package, 10 out of 10. Really well done, Vivistone. Let's see what's in the box. And you get not one but two power cord according to which country you are, some tools, a brush for cleaning, and some tools I think for aid adjustment. For small boxes, I guess those are the remotes. And yes, and one is white and the other one is black. Okay, so now with the help of movie making, let's remove all these waste. Okay, so now let's plug the power and let's see this big boy. How cool was that? It was really, really cool with just one button. Imagine if you could pair this with uh, Google Home and just say, okay, Google cinema mode and the projector turns on and uh, the screen rises or goes down. It would be so cool. Look how tall is this? It's as tall as me. Right now I can see that uh, it just absorbs the light from the lamp up here and from uh, the softbox it just reflects the lights from below where you have your ultra short projector well now i understand why it's so heavy because it's all metal a really resilient material and it's very sturdy because you see this slick screen but behind it there are two really strong arms that lift it up so it's really really massive and it takes all the wall of this room this is a normal bedroom and it takes up all the walls so for a cinema mode you have to consider really carefully if you want to to go bigger because this is 100 inch and 
bigger means 110, 120. So this one fits perfectly and 120 probably wouldn't fit. Let's see if my dog is faster than the projector. Go. We are using the Vivistrom S Pro Electric Tension Motorized Screen, which is basically a box with a remote and uh, with electric tension. You can open and close the screen really quickly, really loudness, and you always ensure to have the best tension. Also, this screen really improves all the colors. They are more vibrant and the blacks and the highlights are really improved from this screen. To me, the coolest part is that it's motorized, so it's a really cool effect when you invite your friends and you show the screen coming up and down with one just click of the remote. This is so convenient and I think it's better than the wall mounted screen because they are pretty difficult to mount. This was really really fast. Second, the projector, really important. For this video we're gonna be using the Changong V8S which is a really high-end $4,000 4K HDR10 projector. So really good picture, really crispy picture, 4K picture, really vibrant colors, HDR10, and really impressive, mind-blowing, this big package. And we are used to 1080p projector, but 4K projector are really, really good and really expensive, this one goes for more than $4,000. So I'm really lucky to be able to test it for one month. So let's make every day count. Okay, let's open this big box. Okay, so on the top we get this protection layer with the power cords. Really nice that they included both the UK and the European version. And then you have your your instruction manual and then the remote really simple this one is really incredible and I really can't wait to test it in person I expected something more maybe for a four thousand dollar but probably this is a test unit so this is the reason you can see the ports you have two HDMI 2.0 ports to USB some audio output and internet really nice and a VGA cable this is all metal basically just the top on plastic you have a turn on bottom the laser projector so this one is a ultra short show so basically you can go really close to the screen that we'll see in a moment and this saves a lot of time so you don't have to have a big room and place the projector on one side and then the screen on the other but you can have everything really nice and tidy in one part of the room so without further ado let's go and see how this looks for home cinema the sound the sound is what takes really to the next level your home cinema experience unfortunately we finished the budget so for this video we're using a prototype I'm using an old stereo with two speaker and it's very old it has a tape and CD reader but it has auxiliary channel this means that with just a really cheap and affordable cable you can connect the projector to the auxiliary cable and you can use a pretty decent 60 watt speaker stereo and it will really improve your experience because if you have a good quality but the sound is not great you will miss a lot so this is really a prototype if you have an old stereo in the garage if it has 
an auxiliary channel, aux channel, you can connect to basically everything that has a 3.5 millimeter phone jack. And this is really cool, you can save a lot of money. So number four, the brain of the setup. I was thinking of the Google Chromecast, but the one I have goes only up to 1080p. So we're gonna be using the Xbox Series X. And even if this projector doesn't have HDMI 2.1, we can still go up to 4K60 and HDR10. They are all supported. So this is what really closes the circle for us and to have something that is as good as the projector and the screen. And so this is the final result gaming with the Xbox Series X in 4K60 HDR10 on a 100 inch screen is really, really cool. And this is how you can easily transform your room, an empty room in a home cinema. Of course, there are other things like sound dampening and uh, acoustic insulation, but for this video, we're finished here. So, of course, you can use maybe the wall if you have it, or maybe a cheaper, not ultra short throw projector. But I think in those time, quarantine time, to build a non cinema setup at your home, you don't have to go out. It's a really good experience, and I really suggest you to do that if you can. So this wraps up for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do or dislike words as well. Comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.